Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's going to be Donnie coming to you. Masawa Japan, man. We got the, uh, my guy back in here, Anthony. I said before in the last one we was here, it's going to be a regular thing. We would have been in here like, what, two, three hours ago, but we were moving snow and dealing with some other admin stuff and everything, man. And uh, thus far, you know what I mean? Thanks for being in the shop. We had some um, some lift issues we were setting up and everything. Yeah. And, uh, we were just talking offline, man, out to guys out there. It's like, you know, I'm self-sufficient. I do a lot of stuff, man. But, it's, you know, it's good to have a proper um, – uh, helper in here, my bad. My mic just came off. Let me uh, put this back on there. But the, uh, God damn it. But the, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's good. To, I'm just gonna hold it <laughs> in. So, <laughs> so yeah, man, it's good to have a good a good helper out there and everything, man. So like thus far, man, you know the first, well, first what, it's about two weeks and everything. Yeah. So how's, yeah, how's everything been so far, man? As far as, you know, stuff we've done so far, man. It's pretty legit. I mean, it's dope. I don't know. It's, I, I I enjoy helping people out and doing just doing stuff. Yeah. Pretty much, I don't know what it is. It's just one of those things like working on my own stuff. Mm. I procrastinate, yeah, horribly. <laughs> but when I go and do other people, like do engine swaps, I help people do things all day long. But if it's like got to change this clutch, I just don't want to get to it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, it's, yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. I just flow different but eventually i get to it and i just knock it out but. yeah well i mean like i said now these you're, you're the shopping stuff now man like yeah. you got the so well one thing too is here in or most places i mean like you know you have access to a shop you know yeah. by, by way of uh, giving me the assistance i need here but um the one thing is like you know never having a space man so like you worked in a shop before like I told you before. yeah i was at a, i worked at an auto, uh, auto shop uh -huh. before joining the military did it did, i mean did they well what, what kind was it like um did it get like a, give you guys like it, after hours because you bring yeah. your shit in there they let you do that yeah yeah yeah. it was like, like kind of it was like yeah. a sometimes thing like depending on what kind of workflow they had yeah and then like how busy or parking or, stuff inside and all that what that shit was like to uh to compensate you guys from for paying you shitty money <laughs> like, so, that's, yeah, so they yeah. can't complain much if we give them space to live because I know some places straight up they be like nah you can't bring your shit in here you know what I mean even though you spend like 13 hours a day in that bitch like you can't bring your shit in here and everything yeah and then my well, work like it was well, you had to, yeah, because you had to have your, all your own tools and shit like that, mm. and so oh, even uh, even for regular, yeah, because we had a snap on truck that would drive through all the time, and then you would like like they didn't supply shit, so it was a uh, yeah, you were yeah. um, it's like I guess com commission, yeah, not high hourly, so it was like a, a was a, it like a major? I mean, could you say their name was a major major like dealer or just like a? It was an independent auto independent. shop, but they they paid you based on it was like a your certifications and whatnot. Mm. And so it was like, a, it was a commission said hourly. So it was like, oh, you're getting paid this much per job mm. versus. So if you like, it was like a tune up or some shit, <clears throat> then it would be, you get paid based on that. So if you took that too shit. long to do it, you're losing money. So how the fuck so. they get, they, they took a month, they took a cut though from the, the job, right? Right. Yeah. That's, yeah, so that's it's weird yeah, how they, yeah. Pay, yeah. But yeah, that's what most, most guys, I mean, most most dudes out there are in that position where they like, they work in all these hours and they like, you know, they're not really, you know, getting stuff. One of my dudes, I guess he was doing some warranty work and some shit happened or whatever. And they, they took the, um, I think they he was they said he was, they're going to take the money from him or he has, he just redo it for pretty much free. So it's like, it's like, this is not my business and shit. And I should have some kind of coverage. How was it for you guys? Was it like, what kind of cars are you working on this shit? It was, it was just a just a just normal like mm -hmm. shop like somebody you know Chrysler pulls up like oh the fuel oh, so it wasn't the fuel like yeah it was just anything. a normal like re just doing everything so mm -hmm. rebuilding engines changing fuel filters or doing wheel bearings or just basic mm -hmm. stuff just like, just like a regular normal auto auto shop yeah well ain't none of that shit here man nope. <laughs> I mean it, it is but ain't nobody just pulling up with yeah. their shit spewing oil everything is set up. And like I say, we, I mean, the, 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 the biggest thing where we got a little bit of time here, man, we've been kind of chopping it up a bunch offline, cleaning up the snow. And it was just the, the stuff with the contract or not the lack there of contract out there for the guys who seen the post or whatever, had a few wise guys, you know, you know, ain't nobody say nothing, but just how people react, you know, and everything on, online, the people just looking for your downfall and everything, man. And like, yeah. you know, the biggest thing we were talking about, man, is like, and I think that's where we get along is just like the general, uh, general way of being man how you interact with people and like people don't realize man like they, the, the way you interact in general is the way you can get the energy back and shit man so yep. i know you've been through it and stuff like that for real like before yeah. the you know yeah. the military stuff and everything man so i like, wish your i mean how do you what's your your thoughts on how i mean how, how do you feel how people would like you know conduct themselves and stuff like that man generally i mean you'd be real man <laughs> yeah it's, it's real <clears throat> how people conduct like they be talking to people yeah 
there's so you can yeah. tell a lot of people have not they haven't caught no fades they yeah. handed them out and ain't nobody trying to get chin check yeah. there's a lot <clears throat> it's just like i'm a grown-ass man i don't know who you're talking to yeah it's, it's, it gets crazy it's like yo just talk to somebody with respect and like you you don't gotta like talk yeah. down to somebody especially i don't know it's no, crazy. I mean, being that you're part of your current military and everything, I know we, I mean, some people, I mean, it's not a popular podcast yet, but some people are like, oh man, look, he, man, he, see, he was threatening me. See, <laughs> this is where the, the evidence, because people, yeah. some, I, I guarantee you, there's somebody in the Air Force somebody that will do, do it. Want. And I mean, look at the, the new chief. Well, I, I can't speak on the new chief too much, but I guess she, some, she got offended. The guy asked, if it was, is it bass, like bass or bass or whatever? Yeah. And she took the whole, the whole maintenance humor page got shut down. Yeah. Over that <laughs> shit, man. So, like, I don't know. It's like it, it's just everybody getting. I don't know. Like everywhere. I'm not just like a military thing. Mm. Just people in general, just mm. overly sensitive. Yeah. About everything, mm. and it's like, when did this change? I it, swear it was like two. Two thousand. Two thousand thirteen is mm. when the things just got crazy. I guess because this wasn't even a thing back in like early 2000s yeah yeah it's like it's crazy man like some of the shit some of the you know shit on movies and things and some of the things even on tv that you would see that you 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 wouldn't see now and then some of the things on tv that you're seeing now like as far as like you know acceptance and things like that and like you know like even in japan like i mean nothing against people out there or whatever but it's you know general talk but like you see like um in japan like they go they glamorize like um like it was like drag almost Cause they're not they're, they're not trans they yeah. just like drag there's a bunch of dudes here and they like act out in drag and stuff like that and you would really I mean you would kind of see it back in the day but like it would kind of be spotty and like people knew who RuPaul was but it wasn't like kind of it, it was like that was the RuPaul got the pass right you know what I'm saying and, and everybody else like nah don't try it but now it's like it's like Ru I mean they got a damn show yeah on on, on that on that stuff man so like what's your I mean as far as your kids and everything <clears throat> what's your how do you what do you have them watching and everything on a daily basis and stuff like that or you know what I mean because your kids are a little older yeah with like you say like, for watch like do like they like far as what are they watching on oh, TV and, on and shit like that they they, 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 they got phones yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's like <laughs> they're on like iPads watching like YouTube yeah or playing like video games and I don't know yeah, honestly I don't they just, I they barely watch TV unless I'm specifically sit down I'm like yo we're gonna watch a movie it'd be mm. like some family film or something yeah it stuck to those ipads my son's like watching video game clips or something about yeah, you said what age seven and 13 gonna be seven and 13 some of their team yeah so you got man you got a teen oh, going are you 13 or going to be about to be about to be yeah. so she got a preteen. uh and which one's 13 year old my daughter daughter so daughter's older and they, the door, I mean, I got my, I got one now, and they, they definitely mature faster than the dudes. Yeah, like definitely, like damn, that shit's real, man. Right? She's like not no even sense. two, and she's already like waving me off and like doing like, dude. And she got like a, I can already see her personality. My daughter is like, um, she's definitely kind of, she want to do everything herself, and like she gets mad if you try to feed her or anything like that, man. So you got, you I mean, you got again older kids. Uh, mine's are you know, the oldest is four. So and but now even the four year old is like. They get pissed if you don't put on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they yeah. and they know exactly what they want to watch. So yeah. it's like, man, it's like this shit is not like it's it's not until they get 15 is already. So we we try to um uh not try but we like well you know my wife would just turn up like it's like too much. Yeah, like you take, know what I mean yeah, like turn yeah. it off or take. Yeah, we did that. <clears throat> We'd be like taking the, the iPad away yeah. or something. Or like turn off the Wi-Fi. Some, yeah, yeah. Just something. And I do. I be doing that all the time. Like, yeah. and click. Yeah, we no got we Wi-Fi. got to man because if you don't then it'll be like in the matrix no shit yep like they'll be in the matrix man so yeah because my my daughter like bro it's like you take it <laughs> you yeah. take away the internet she like, loses it and like, like I don't she tell wakes you, up man. like what the fuck like, yeah she's like oh can I can I get the <laughs> can I get on the computer and I'm like mm. chill like take a break yeah man but I, you know, I bring up that man because it's just like the you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you know, you got your family. I got my family, man. And, and we were talking about, you know, outside about the, um, you know, why I chose you and stuff, man. And like I say, it, it's just, it, is respecting everything and the way people do things, man. Like I say, when you asked me, you asked me. And I was like, you know, not right now. And then I told you, I was like, hey, man, I'm trying out this guy. We'll see how it goes. And you were like, all right, cool. And it was like, you didn't, um, you didn't like press it. You know what I'm saying? If you would have pressed the issue, I'd probably be like, nah, I would have been turned off. Because, yeah. you know what I mean? Not saying because uh, there's times out there where people 
that they press you and they get like, you know, they get that spot on the team or they get this. You hear the stories all the time where somebody was persistent and they got they, they, they right. got it. But they don't, sometimes there's times where you, 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 you your, your situation awareness, like you're here. Yeah, you this guy here, Masala. This, this time, yeah, yeah, there's like time setting in places. Yeah, like to like, like you're gonna go get a, like an actual job, <clears throat> then you can be like, like you know, swing through every once in a while, and like check out, be like, yo, like I don't know, there's just, yeah, there's just, you, it's something you you don't, yeah. and then, you're not, you don't, you just know when yeah, to do yeah. it and when not to do it. But the cool thing too, man, is like you, I just, I mean, I didn't, I think you mentioned before you worked in the uh, the auto shop, but you didn't like when you when you came here, you didn't say like, hey, man, I. I I was here and I was there and did all that stuff. Cause some dudes they'll do that. They'll do like a a, a rolling resume like on the spot. And I worked on this car. I worked on that car and I did this. This. I'm like I'm not. I'm not asking you, dude. Like yeah. relax. Like you know what I'm saying. And you didn't do that, which was that was cool. And then again, when you asked me to um to 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 help out here, oh, my my guy was still here, Quan. So I was like, nah, I don't really need it right now. I tried out another guy, lazy. And then I, right after that went through, I was like, I was for about two weeks. I was like, man, I. I just kind of want to be about, be alone, and I was like, I noticed like you weren't hitting me, hit me back. And I was like, hey man, just come in, you know, stop in. And it wasn't even like an interview, <laughs> you showed up and everything, and then like it's just uh, yeah. the way stuff goes, man. And so people, you know, what I mean, within because I mean, I and I didn't that wasn't again, it wasn't a test when you got here. It just happened to be snow, yeah. so I was like, hey man, you mind moving moving to which come? And I came back, and I'm, I was just wanting a little path to pull out. And you had cleared the whole fucking thing. I was like, man, okay, yeah, cool, man. Like little shit like that. Yeah. Like that was, you know, what I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you were thinking that way, but it's no, just well, like, yeah, I was, well, I what? Because I was thinking just yeah. clear it. Yeah, I was like, that way you can get another yeah, car yeah, yeah. in here. Yeah, obviously this is a spot to park it. Nah, in. man, but no, so you know, thus far, man, everything has been cool, and it, I know it's going to be cool. It's just we're in the same wavelength as far as like, you know, we got we're family guys. And that's what I'm saying too. Yeah, I I couldn't have a single dude in here because, like, the benefits you get from being here, like I said before, outside. The benefits you're getting from being here is like you, you're ultimately saving time and money because I got the lifts. So that way you ain't in a hobby shop fucking with that rat right. fat, you know, that, that, that shit. You know what I mean? So you don't got to go there. We got tire machine alignment, everything here, setting up that a lift. Um, and then, you know, the stuff we talk about offline as far as the parts and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You get in conversation on that stuff too, man. So it works out. And that's just, you know, guys up there is just, you know, what I mean, nothing comes to anybody out there. Dudes are watching or listening. You just gotta kind of play the part, play the role, and do whatever you gotta do, man. And and not, you know, and also like, you know, at the same time, I was clear too. I wasn't like, you know, I'm not trying to have no bitch boy or something like that. Yeah. And that's why I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I made it clear. I, we, I ain't trying to run that party because I, I was in that position where I worked. I mean, I was doing swaps and all that shit for this dude, and he promised me like I could work on my shit, and it was yeah, like going three, four happen. months. And my car was sitting outside for two months, man. Yeah, and you're just sitting around like, yo. Yeah, and that actually, no, I did it outside. I did it. Out, I was out and right in front of his shop outside, and I'm, there's a shop behind me. I'm doing my clutch outside because yeah, he, he was like, up. he was like looking outside. Say, hey, Donnie, where you at? And I'm like, I'm under the car, man. He's like, what the fuck <laughs> you doing, man? And it was kind of like a little, a little, like, like a little slope. Too. But I had it on jack stands and I had a tire in there, and I'm like, dude. I need my fucking clutch done, and you 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 won't let me get on lift. He's like, "No, nah, man, take it off the take it off there and do that." So then then it took me doing that doing that shit outside. Yeah. And like, oh, so then after I got the trans down, I push it out. Then we we push it into. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm like we could have I could have been doing it. So then we push it on a lift. He's like, "Yeah, man, this this and this and some other bullshit." And I that was like the been at the beginning and the end with that situation because I was um what the fuck was I doing? I was um. The fuck was I doing in that, that situation, man? I think I was, yeah, I was, I was, I was, uh, I want to say it was, um, the fuck was that? It was before the military for sure. I want to say it was maybe summer. Yeah, I think it was like college summer break or something like that. It was like, inter- like, were you like, <clears throat> was it like a job or like interning or something or just like, it was, uh, no, 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 no. It was actually when I dropped, I actually, I dropped out of college. I dropped out of college for like, it was like uh, about a month or so, like a month or two or something like that. I think I can't remember, man. It's, it's, it's hazy, but right, it was like a, a point. While. It was a point where, I had, like, I mean, I was I was going to a shop like every day. Yeah. So I think it was either before college. I don't know, man. But the um the shit wasn't the shit wasn't working out in my favor, and um yeah, I was like, nah, dude. You know, what I mean, you ain't fucking me over this long, man. That's why. Like, all, long story short. You know, I, I just you know you know that this wasn't a situation, man. But yeah, overall, man, like, again, we, we was chatting about that and everything, and and um, you know, the whole situation with the government stuff, man. So like you said, you ain't hearing that. You, ain't, I mean, it was kind of 
abrupt, so you didn't hear nobody sing. No, not outside of this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll keep that offline, but the uh some things in for the podcast. But yeah, it was there were without saying names, there was some there was, you know, I posted up yesterday, guys, about um the thing stopping with the government contract and everything for the the POVs. In a nutshell, I let this thing run out for six months. I was I was I was constantly demanding things over and over and over from this company to give to me and to help you guys cars get checked in easier and move things along. And then it got to the point where they weren't giving those things. So I was like, Hey, well you need to compensate me for the time I'm, I'm using on my personal thing. Um, my customer cars are getting, uh, you know, I'm getting late on customer cars. Now I'm uh, getting, I can't go to meetings because I got to wait for this company to come pick shit up. And I'm like, nah, dude, you got to, com- if I'm going to do this, lose this time, you got to compensate me. I told her I lost one job because you know, it, whatever I couldn't have, I couldn't take a meeting with a guy. And he went somewhere yeah, else. Yep. So I'm like, you, you're losing, so yeah, business, just losing so. me money. So I'm like, and I told the dude, I'm like, hey man, if this is causing me money, whatever. I mean, everything was straight up across, across the point. It was me saying with my directives, and anybody out there who's saying otherwise, well, I should have did this and that. You ain't running a fucking business. You know what I mean, that's my yeah. that's my personal opinion. So yeah, I mean, like, I don't. You know, and I told you, dollars, yeah, like, you know, and, and, I, and I told you straight up everything that's going on. I mean, I mean, feedback wise, because I do take feedback is like. This, it, you feel like it was something I did wrong, or it was you know, and you're I mean in your theory, did you? Oh, uh, you? Y- yeah, nah, I mean, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Outside of that, you're like, not not putting everything yeah, on yeah. here, but yeah, outside the stuff that you told me, like, yeah, nah, that's, I, that's it, crazy. And the thing is, guys, I'm I got honestly surprised. It's like, and everything's on email. around. Yeah, <laughs> as because long you know, because you, you know did. me, because you know me, I'm like, yeah. you're getting to know me. I was like, I'll, I'll cut this. So I, I gave it. I gave it, what, six months to kind of work itself out. And I figured, like, you know, because if I did that in two months, that'd be kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't have a, enough to go on. But six months is more than enough time to get your shit fixed. Yeah. And when it's, when, and when, and especially when I'm talking about it, it's just, it's just words. All you got to do is type in there, hey, snow tires, no, what well, you supposed to have them anyway, motherfuckers. <laughs> November what? November yeah, yeah, right 15th? Like it's been, year. well, November 14th to April 1st. That, that, that date's been the same since I've been here. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, it's like, hey man, what the, what, why would you show up with street tires on and then look at me stupid? Like, oh, okay, that's your problem, dude. It's not Pink and Styles' problem, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was happening. And I'm like, you know, look, this shit's going to somebody, some shit's, somebody shit's going to slip off the truck, like straight off the fucking truck and nose dive probably. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And now or shoot up that bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, <clears throat> nah, dude. Now, I'll, I'll that the little bit of cash I was making, which is like two grand, that shit ain't worth that shit ain't worth my time. And so, the, so anybody, any guy out there who's watching or listening, and, and, and you're the fucking rat that's gonna take over because that's what you are. And I mean, I'm calling straight up like that, man. Pit drama out there, man. If because ain't nobody, ain't none of my guys here call me and talk to me about it. So if you're gonna take over this contract thing, good luck. And number two, man, we're probably not gonna talk to each other again when I, if I find out who it is. If if it's somebody here, because I'm like, you know, what I mean, that's that's just back, that's that's backhanded shit, and they probably thought you probably thought I was getting a contract for fucking. I'm talking to the general, to the person. You probably thought I had a contract for like a million dollars. That was not the fucking case. You see me get the lift and everything. Oh fuck, nah, dude, that was some other shit. That was some other business, man. So hopefully that's not the case, and maybe I'm just in my head a little bit about it. If it is, it's cool. But I I have a feeling. My gut feeling is telling me that the person is smart enough to have something else set up if I, he knows I'm going to punch out. Yeah. And he knows I was going to because I told him, hey, man, we're cool as long as this doesn't fuck up my money. Right. And he's like, all right, cool, yeah, man. And, and then, man, like, next yeah. Thing you know. It fucks up my money. Fucking with that money. Yeah. <laughs> and, I'm like, that's that's any business, man. That's any... So, you know, anybody out there feel like I was I should have... Like, no, I don't have to do shit. So now I got, what, three guys in my... Uh, look at my message right here. So since I made the post, I got... Uh, I got shit, man. I got to get you out of here a little bit. I got about, uh, let me see, three guys in my mailbox already. So people are here thought my business was, you know, bad or something was wrong. Uh, that's a potential good amount of money. I'm not going to tell you how much because it's none of your business, but everybody will be compensated. Everybody, I'll be compensated. I'll, one car, I make more than I make in, in, in you know, with that, that process. That process. Yeah, so it is what it is. When I can't harp on it. This is pretty much the last day I'll talk to talk about it. Uh, cause it's done. I talked to the secretary this morning. She yeah. was like, you know, whatever, man. So yeah, yeah we talking about it. Yeah, man. <clears throat> it is what it is on that, man. But again, like I say, this, you know, this thanks for the help today and everything. We supposed to do this a little bit ago. We want to yeah. do out that guy. Like I say, this is a quick chop session cause he got to get out of here and, and get on with his day and everything. 
respectfully. Um, okay. we, what we're gonna do, man, because like I say, we, we'll he'll he's, he's here to two thousand four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. So you'll you'll see him a lot. We'll probably it'll probably be. Um, I mean, I'll still do that sometimes by myself because I'll just come in here and random and cut it on. But uh, pretty pretty much it'll either be me and Anthony uh, with a pro- possibly a third guest. It, somebody else could fit here with another mic and um, have that running. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I've, I've asked all the guys I wanted to kind of have a podcast with here and they they either said they don't have time or whatever. Or can, can we do it next year? I'm like, all right, what's going to change in the, the year? Are you going to get slimmer? <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so the, um, that, or like the podcast with the actual, um, uh, the Skype stuff and everything. So it is what it is guys. But like I said, it's going to be a regular thing. We'll probably have a segment, you know, we were talking about some stuff. We have time though. So we'll get that stuff running in there and everything, man. Anything you got to say on any, any current topics or any, uh, how, how much did you lose in the GameStop stuff? Did oh, you, I, didn't, zero? I, didn't t- I didn't touch it. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was telling me about it and I should have, should have just listened and just, Blew something at it because it was like what I think someone like when they did the math on it it was like if you had if you had to put six grand into that yeah you'd have been like pretty much an overnight millionaire but some dudes lost money but though like yeah I don't know if you yeah. if you held on too long because they were like oh hold, like the whole yeah. Reddit thing was like oh hold the line don't drop nah man yeah like if if you see people pulling out you don't want to be the last the last guy yeah. with stocks is like Cause the, and a lot of those dudes like this just. just Cause that was like a group thing, mm. so it's like if you don't know anything about how stocks actually work, then you end up getting set up. You, you end up getting set up for being the last dude. Yeah, so I got so, you know, I mean, I, I just started. Uh, I just started about a month and a half ago when I got that stimulus in January. So like, um, like last today, yesterday I made like what twenty dollars, uh, twenty dollars. And, um, but I got, you know, I'm buying, I bought stock and shit. I mean, the GameStop stuff, I had, a, I had a share in it, but they started doing that shit early. So I canceled the share and they had it at limited, but I bought it at a full $61. You know, so, I mean, you know, I, lost, I, I only had one share. So I, I didn't, you know, I didn't yeah. have like the 30 shares and 800 shares like guys are doing. Like all the other dudes. And so one guy, I think the dude that runs something, he lost like 700K. Yeah. The bar, it was That's like what I'm saying, the bar stool or something like that. So like you know, what I mean, it is what it is. But you know, it, it, I'm glad. I'm glad I had the. I just feel better knowing that I had the <laughs> Robin Hood shit open be, in January because the GameStop shit was recent, and it's yeah. kind. It's like yep. nobody started talking about it, so it's kind of like I, I feel like Fast and the Furious because I got in the fa- I got in the cars like that. Like uh, I think the winner, the winner, the winner of like '99, whatever. So that's yeah, when I just and then which one came out summer '99, I believe Fast and Furious one. Yeah, so I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, it, hey man, people got into it because you got it. I mean, it was already out when you started into it, right? Yeah, it was like well, yeah, because I was like '97. Yeah, like we were talking about yeah. uh, the last time with Grand Turismo. Yeah, is when like my started doing car stuff. Yeah, pretty heavily, well, sure, like, yeah. You also know, always about like that. Yeah, so now, was, honestly, Fast and Furious yeah. fucked up my whole. So <laughs> like happened, I said, man. I wanted to. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to get an R uh, FB. Yeah. And there was a dude selling one for like three thousand dollars, and I was saving up to get it. Oh, and, it, it, and then that it, it, the game stop fucking movie shit. came out. Yeah, did the game stop yeah. on you? <laughs> and this dude was like, "Nah, he wanted like eight grand or yeah, something." Yeah, yeah, Which yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, yeah. it's not much, but for somebody who's fucking sixteen, I was like, "Damn, nah, they can't afford that." And I was like, "By the time I got around to almost having enough, it was like this just kept going up, up, up because Fast and the Furious ruined, ruined it." Yeah. Just made prices go up. I was pissed. Yeah, and then man. obviously, twenty it's something odd years, years later, I finally get one. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, get some because uh, what we'll do is we'll like I said we plan on having like a little Instagram segment where we'll just go on Instagram and what we're gonna do for this is actually give you guys a shout out. So whatever pages we stop, we'll just go in there and scroll up and scroll up, see some cool shit. Stop, talk about it. You know what's what's what, and then we'll drop your name in there and everything. Uh, so just stay tuned and everything. You might be on there. You might not. I'm uh, not not making fun of people, but just like, yeah, would you, I wouldn't do that or I wouldn't do this. I mean, like, look, man, everybody got fucking opinions on yeah, shit. You know, saying like based. somebody probably, I don't mind your your uh, your your uh, fender mirrors with somebody yeah. like, man, that's I don't like that, man. There's, there's plenty of people, man. I don't, yeah. Guess what? It's my, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> my car. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's all it's about, man. At the, the, at the end of the day, man, that's that's what a lot of people like. Um, like I said, we're talking about the dudes, man. Like locals sometimes, and even like abroad, it's just like they they place so much stock in what motherfuckers 
care like with people yeah you know people's opinions and like that's where and then like when you and then they they kind of offer it when you didn't solicit solicit their opinion or stuff yeah man. it's like i didn't even ask you that like, yeah what yeah, did I act like did I actually about my fender mirrors? Like, there, I put them there. I I like the color brown. You know what I mean? I want this on it. Yeah, yeah. And they, people they just people talking about that shit too. Like, yeah. Why did you paint it this color? I'm like, yeah. I mean, I can lie. I can lie, man. I, I I I uh. I mean, that's that's not a stock color. Yeah, yeah. But then, like, when a dude paints a color, like when a guy paints a car like white, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, dude, like, you had all the colors in the world. <laughs> you like, chose like you chose yeah. like I mean, hey, but that hey. That, that that's yeah. yeah it's like you know it's like that's that's one <laughs> that's one reason man because i was like <clears throat> i was like yo like because i was just looking and i was like you got all the rx7s is like yellow, you got all, the flavor, yellow, all the flavors in the Montego world blue, man. black red and i was like i want something that i don't see so i was just gonna pick some random shit mm. like before like a hot while ago because <clears throat> i the drift route that me and my buddy started like SNS drifting way mm. back in 2005. <laughs> SNS. <laughs> yeah. It stands for but, text, uh, mes- text, text message in Japan. It's funny though. Yeah. Cause like we, like our colors were, were pink. Mm. So we we're going to paint the, like he, he was like hitting me up when I was talking about getting my car painted and he wanted it to be pretty much like this color. Okay. And I was like, so I was like this, cl- I actually <laughs> was like a coin flip and I was like, all right, this and this. And it yeah. was happening land. So, now if you fake, if you now if you, if you would have made it pink, pink though, I think I would have had to hit you like, hey man, you, you, you want to come help out, man? That's like some cool shit right there, man. So, that shit's funny, but uh, yeah, man, that's I mean everybody like I got, I got the pink stuff, but like I do the accents because it's like I, uh, pink is cool, but like you know like you got the pretty much you can see like, everything is pretty generally my color was like black and pink, and uh, kind of morphed like into like a start doing like a chameleon color or whatever. But the um, the pink wheels is generally all be always. My thing and everything, man. Hey, man, shit, it's, it's 130, 133, man. I'll hold you up. But, yeah, man, like I say, man, guys out there, we'll, uh, what we'll do is, like I say, I'm not definitely not going to do any, uh, I'm not trying to copy any other podcasts out there. But um, it's cool to talk about present day things because you got two guys here again. Uh, he's military. You're going to retire soon in, in the next handful of years. I'm, I only did six years, but I did three years in Iraq. Did a lot of stuff. Did a lot of cool stuff in my six years. Top notch shit, you know, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I did a lot of stuff, man. So even though my time was short, what I did inside all six years was vast. Um, so, um, not going to be a military show, stuff like that. Uh, but we'll touch on things here and there. And the, um, what I'm about to say, man, on that stuff, man, is this, we'll, we'll kind of have some current day topics. Like, I mean, some stuff goes on with a bit of chat about it. Cause everybody, like all pretty much every podcast out there is talking about the same shit with their opinion. Like right. everybody's, every, if you look up, there's like all these podcasts talking about the GameStop shit and all these podcasts talking about the, the dude st- storming the Capitol and what they think. So generally what you're doing is you're listening to people's opinions. And you're just going yeah. and making your own opinion. Yeah. And, it, and it, they align, they align with yours. They don't, you know what I mean? It's just, everybody's different. I, I can't speak on the shit going on in the States because I don't live there. So it's like, uh, I'm not going to give energy. Uh, I'm not going to give a lot of energy uh, personally, not to podcast stuff, but like my personal deal, my time, like, oh man, this sucked and whatever. Like, <laughs> My mom wasn't there. My brothers wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, nobody got harmed in my family. And honestly, yeah, if they if they did and they went there, like, hey, it's good that you deserved it. Yeah, you know it's kind of crazy it, right that's, now. It's like, yeah, whatever's going on is going on over yeah. here. And it's honestly, I'm glad I'm over here yeah. currently and not dealing with none of that. So yeah, but stupid, like, like yeah, you yeah. just don't. Yeah, if I'm not there and in it, I don't really follow yeah. too much stuff. I don't. I'm not online yeah, but looking it, at all that it, kind of stuff. Yeah, in a nutshell, with that man, it's just to you know, you do if you do blatantly stupid shit. Like it's like we could be friends or whatever, man. But like, like we were talking about too, man. People like child pornography and stuff like that. It's like, dude, that that wasn't like you just stumbled. You've been doing that shit for a while, yeah. and you got caught. You know, what I'm saying that's like stuff like that is when we that 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 friendship is like, all right, man, I was wrong about you. Sorry, you know, I can't talk to you no more. Yeah, it's I like got, I, got, I, got, people, I got I got I got kids. That are like good at hiding stuff. And like yeah, the dude, I was talking about. Yeah, like I. We all could tell there was something wrong. Yeah, we were just like, yeah. mm, this dude is off. It's yeah. just weird. It was it was speaking man shit, man. If I gotta get out of here, but it was this one right. cat, this one cat that was here, right? And this dude was single, 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 and didn't have the inkling of like even picking up a girl or a dude. Like he just seemed like he was cool by itself. Yeah. And he and he uh man, that's the, so he um this motherfucker would drive like a, a largo like a van. Like he had a van. Yeah. He was weird as weird as fuck, man. Like he came to my door one night with a steering wheel in his hand. Like, it's like, so what do I do with this? I'm like, like, not, spirit, like not, he knocked on my door. 
With a steering and, wheel? Yeah, with a steering wheel. Like, hey, man, so what do I do with this? I'm like, put it on your car. All right, man, later. Like, yeah, that was it, dude. Like, just how weird. And then, like, come to find out, man, um, this dude, like, you know, we, he, uh, I didn't see it, but child pornography. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Child pornography, and he was, uh, he had a, he had camera equipment. He was, um, he would go sit at the, uh, the gym, and he would take pictures of the fucking kids leaving school, high school, and then he would sit at the, uh, the chapel, and take pictures of the elementary kids. Like I'm talking about, like full up, like FBI, and it was just no, these, like, yeah, yeah. these kids are commanders. You know, they were like, fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't, yeah. Don't make any sense. so that dude like so those dudes that need to. Yeah, and I was kind of because he had it was he had a it was he had all wheel drive it was all wheel drive Integra. I was like, fuck, I wanted the car because I could. But yeah, they yeah he I mean yeah, they, they gone, rent, raided out. his room, hard drives full of child porn, um, and his and he drove a he drove a van as a, I mean talking about a family van. Yeah, and it's just and it's him, like, yeah, and he has no friends. Looking at everything, and you're like, you know what? All this is starting yeah. to fucking add up. And you don't. And I mean, I can see if you got a family van and you you guys go snowboarding and this shit. Yeah. He had no friends. I mean, far as I don't think he did. He was weird as fuck, man. And like, yeah, that when it so when it happened, I was like, yep, that's that's about right, man. Like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's all, and you start thinking back. And yeah, like, you know, yeah. all of those weird little things start making sense. Yeah, he was in my squadron. He was in my squadron because it was six six seven was LRS. Uh, dorms and everything, but I didn't. We didn't, you know, see him. And I mean, and I'm not, you know, it, it is what it is, and that stuff is just some people got different things going on. But that shit right there don't just happen, man. Like that, that's nah, yeah, that's some shit that he got fucked with when he was a kid, or something happened, man. Like something in his childhood sent him on that path, man. He was okay enough to make it in the military, but right or past, yeah, past, like, past, like basic. We're talking about like yeah. with Dexter, yeah. That show it's like just, just some people, but that, I. I knew this dude just was. I mean, this dude was like not. He was not there all at all, man. Like I don't know how you know he was there enough to pass the ASVAB and and get in there and you know smart people are fucked up too. Yep. So they don't mean that, man. But hey, man, like I said, got they like said guys out there, you, you probably uh you probably enjoy this more than anything else, man, because again we're just chopping up talking about whatever and stuff like that, man. So that's that's what it'll be, man. Um, again, I got a an anchor. Not you know, Quan Quan has some stuff going on. By the time I set this up, and um, it, it, you know, he was cool. We didn't get to get on a, a bunch and everything, so it's nothing against my guy Quan out there watching or listening. Um, we're just timing and everything, so uh, this will probably be like a, a weekly, bi weekly thing, probably as much time as you got. We'll come in here, chop it up, and uh, do stuff like that. So, again, guys, it's gonna be Donnie coming to you from a solid Japan, Anthony here, and nope. we're gonna go and get out here and, and get to the rest of the day, man. So, see you guys later. Peace, take it easy. Let me turn to lose you. Just let it go. Walk away.